Okay, this video is on some area and shaded area. And some area just means finding the area of a figure in which we have to find two or more individual areas and then we have to add them together or get their sum in order to find the area that we're looking for. Shaded area problems involve subtracting areas in order to find the area we're looking for. So let's take a look at a couple of examples of some area. Here I've got a figure and I want to find the area of this kind of odd shaped figure. Well, I don't have a formula that I can use to find the area of an L-shaped figure directly, but I do know how to find the area of a rectangle, and if I just divide this figure into two rectangles, and if I find the area of each of those two rectangles and add it together, then I will have the area of the whole figure. So let me call this area number one, and I'll call this area number two, and I just need to find the area of these two rectangles and then add them together. So let's see, area number one, it's a rectangle, so its area is base times height. And let's see, the base of this rectangle right here is going to be the length of this side, which is also the length of this side right here. So that base is 4. The height of this rectangle, I see over here, is 10. 4 times 10 is 40. So that's 40 square units. So there's area 1. The area of my second rectangle, again, is going to be base times height. And let's see, the base of this rectangle is 8, the length of this side right here. And the height is 4. 8 times 4 is 32 square units. And 40 plus 32 is 72 square units. And there's my answer. Notice that the length of the base of this rectangle is 8. It's not 12, because my rectangle is only the base of the rectangle is only this piece right here. All right. Let's try this example here. Again, I'm looking for the area of this whole region here. I want to divide this into two rectangles. This one, I could divide it up just like I did this one, draw a line like that. Instead, I'm going to do this one slightly different, just to show that it doesn't really matter how you divide up your figure, as long as you divide it into smaller figures that you can find the area of. So let me call this area 1, and let me call this area 2. And again, area 1 is a rectangle, so I'm going to need its base and its height. And let's see, area 1, my base is going to be 6. And the height of this figure, well, let's see, I have the height of this whole side right here, but notice this, this height here is 8, but that's not the height that I'm looking for. I'm looking for just this distance here. Well, luckily for me, I have a measure over here that's 3, and that's going to be the same as this distance over here. So this piece right here is 3. And if this whole side is 8, then 8 minus 3 means that this piece must be 5. So the height of this rectangle, I can write that over here. The height of this rectangle is 5. 6 times 5 is 30 square units. And I have area 1. Area 2, I want base times height. In this case, my base is 20. My height is 3. 20 times 3 is 60 square units. I add those up and I get 90 square units for my total area, and I'm done. Now you have a couple more examples on that page, and they are going to involve dividing your figure into more than two rectangles, but it's still the same idea. Now, for shaded area problems, that's when we have figures that look like this, and I have a picture here, and I want to find the area of just the shaded region. So the shaded region, you can see, is this part here on, on my picture. It's kind of striped looking. On yours, it's solid. And essentially what it is, is it's a picture of a rectangle that looks like it has a hole cut out of it in the middle. In this case, it's a square-shaped hole. I know it's a square because I've got these four hash marks here on each of the sides. So I want to calculate the area, not of this whole rectangle here, but of this rectangle minus this square-shaped hole. So what I'm going to do is, just like before, I'm going to divide this into two different areas. And let me call this, let me call the area of my rectangle, this whole piece, let me call that area 1. That's going to be, that's going to be this whole rectangle here, all right, everything. And let me call area 2 
the area of my, just the square part. Well, area one is the area of this whole rectangle. Again, that's base times height. My base is 10. My height is 6. So the area of that rectangle is 60 square units. Well, but I'm not looking for just the area. I'm not looking for the area of that whole rectangle. I'm looking for the area of the rectangle minus that little square area. So that square area, that's area 2, that's going to be 4 times 4, or 4 squared, which is 16. So now if I want the area of the shaded part, well, I have to subtract the square-shaped area, area 2, from my whole large area here, and that's going to be 5 minus 1 is 44 square units. Example number 2. Again, I have a figure. In this case, my large figure here is a square, and I've got a another hole that I'm going to be cutting out of the middle of it. So if I wanted just the area of that whole square, that would be easy enough to calculate. It would just be 9 times 9, or 81. But I have to subtract out the area of this hole. And in this case, I have a parallelogram-shaped hole. I know it's a parallelogram because I've got these parallel line symbols on this pair of opposite sides and also that pair of opposite sides. So I know it's a parallelogram. So once again, let me call area 1 the area of this whole figure here. And I'm going to call area 2 the area of my parallelogram shaped hole. So area 1, that's a square, so I want 9 times 9. Let me go ahead and write this here. So that's going to be side squared or 9 squared, which is 81. Area 2, well, area 2 is a parallelogram, and I know the formula for the area of parallelogram, that's the same as the formula for the area of a rectangle, base times height. I can see the base of my parallelogram is 6. The height of my parallelogram is 3. And so the area of my parallelogram-shaped hole is 18. To find the area of just the shaded region, I'm going to have to subtract out the parallelogram's area from the area of the square. So 81 minus 18, let's see, 11 minus 8 is 3, 7 minus 1 is 6, and I have 63 square units is the area of my shaded region. And you, again, have a couple of more examples like this in your notes, so I'm going to let you finish those on your own, and we will talk about these tomorrow in class.